hello welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to be designing this rod bracket and looking at this drawing this is the front view so we are going to start by drawing this feature and just draw everything else this should be a straightforward part so start a new part file and I am going to change my units to metric because looking at this dimension this is a metric so document properties unit uh, millimeters and click OK and on the front plane uh, click the front plane sketch and I'm just gonna move this over here so we are going to start by drawing the circle which is this big circle we are going to start by drawing that and you can draw the two circles so for now and the first one is the radius is 15 so that means it's going to be the diameter is going to be 30 so we're going to make that 30 so the radius is 15 we're going to make that 30 and the second one is 50. The dimension in it by the radius, but we are going to uh, dimension this by the diameter, so that will be 25 times 250. Um, so we have our circle. The next thing we need to do is draw this feature that is tangent. So just draw a line coming from the top of it, coming down, does something like this and now make sure make sure you can even draw the line out here and let me if i draw this line out here and make sure that line is a horizontal line again holding the control key click the line and click the circle and now the tangent relation and it'll still give you the same thing so um i'm just gonna delete this one uh where's my delete key but because of the way I drew my line, my line is already, it solid works automatically at the tangent relation. So good, that's what we want. And now I'm just going to add a couple of dimensions. This is 15. And how far this sticks out is, um, oh, we need to add the one from the back, but we can, we know from the center line here is 50, to the back is 50 and the entire one is 120 so we can actually say 120 minus 50 that gives us 70 so the life the dimension from the center line there is 70 and we'll verify it soon so so once you have this dimension we can trim this off we can trim that off and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom um we are going to actually draw another line that is tangent to that and if we want we can even draw the shape the shape of everything so let's do it that way let's draw the shape so so we have a shape something that goes like this and comes in this way and um, so now again we need to add our dimension from here to here it's 15 and um, what else do we need from the center line to the back is 50 and we just I'm just gonna move this here because that's sticking out too much and what else do we need um, this over here is 10 and and this as you can see this can still move up and down and from the bottom up is 75 so this line this line is 75 let me zoom in and I'm just going to redimension this line is 75 so my sketch is fully defined um, just to verify everything um, this is 1515 if I add a dimension from this back to this edge it should be 120 yes so I'm just going to leave that there as a driven dimension and um, the only thing we need to do now is trim this off so trim that off and we only, we need one more thing so if you look at this over here there is a line so we we'll draw another line over here that is tangent and going up it's just something like that and draw another line right here that is tangent to it and coming down so once we have those two lines we can trim again i'm using trim to closest gonna trim off over here gonna trim this off 
and the same thing over here trim that and trim this off so we have this shape and your sketch is say fully defined down here and now feature extrude and we are going to extrude it back um, change the direction back and it is going to be 75 so 75 and then click OK so we have our shape and now all we need to do is we can start over here by adding our chamfer to it so this is 15 by 15 so what we can do is actually go into the chamfer and you are going to change it to distance distance so this one and change this numbers to 15 and change this number to 15 as well and we're just going to click this edge and click this edge and click OK so we have our 15 15 chamfer over there and the next thing we can do is add this this um, hole in here so we can actually draw that on the on the back face because it's easier so on the back face sketch number two and just draw a circle in here and now we want to um, add our dimension from here to here is 35 and from so we have this dimension but this is still moving up and down and from the top so the center line of that circle is also 35 so is right at 35 35 and the radius is 10 so which means the diameter is going to be 20 so we're going to make this 20 and what we want to do is feature extrude cut up to next because we only want to extrude cut it right to right here and click OK and the last thing we need to do is add these two holes over here so we're going to click this top face sketch number two I'm just going to move it here and I'm just going to draw two circles something like that and click the center point of those two circles holding the control key and make them vertical to each other so these circles they always on the same the, the center line is always on the same point so now what we want to do is add some basic dimension from the center line of this circle to that edge is 20 and this circle sometimes when you when you are dimensioning circles in SOLIDWORKS you don't have to necessarily click the center line if you click the circle and drag it and click the circle SOLIDWORKS understand that you're trying to do the center line so that is um, 35 I believe and you can also click these two circles holding the control key and make them equal to each other and the radius is 5 so the diameter is going to be 10 and we only need one more dimension and from the, this edge to this circle center line is 15 so our sketch is fully defined and we are going to feature extrude cut and up to next which is the bottom and click OK and there you go we have this part fully is completed and if we go um, to the isometric view we have that part anyway thank you I know this is like a quick one and this should be fairly easy for you to design thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye